Think HR is your confidential ally at work? Think again. Behind the closed doors of human resources lurks a reality that might shock you. From whispered secrets to the dark corridors of corporate power, your job, your rights, and your voice could be at stake. Are you really safe when you walk into that HR office? Today, we unveil the unsettling truth about HR that every employee needs to hear. Welcome to EM, where we explore the ins and outs of the workplace. Let's dive into why HR might not be the friend you thought they were. First things first, let's get a misconception out of the way. While HR is supposed to balance the needs of employees and the company, they often lean closer to management, particularly in smaller businesses. Precautions. Navigating HR interactions. Now here's where it gets tricky for employees. When you approach HR with a complaint or concern, it's natural to expect confidentiality and support. However, in many cases, your complaints can end up being negatively framed when communicated to upper management. Imagine this scenario. You go to HR about a problem you're facing at work. HR listens, takes notes, and you leave feeling relieved. But behind the scenes, this information might be relayed to upper management in a way that doesn't always reflect your side of the story. The result? It can sometimes lead to unintended consequences for you. So, what can you do to protect yourself in such situations? Here are a few tips. 1. Document everything. Keep records of your interactions with HR. 2. Understand company policy. Know your rights and the company's policies inside out. 3. Gauge formal and informal power structures. Are you complaining about a person? If yes, have you sufficiently gauged if you can win that battle? Is this person more powerful than you or has that person stronger allies? If worse comes to worst, are your allies going to back you up? Does this mean you should avoid HR altogether? Not necessarily. HR can be helpful in many scenarios like understanding benefits, career development, and resolving general workplace issues. The key is knowing when and how to approach them. Disadvantaged people, foreign workforce. Before we wrap up, there's a crucial aspect we need to discuss. HR's role concerning labor laws, especially for migrant workers or foreign workforce. This is a topic that often goes overlooked, but is vital for anyone working in a new country. In many cases, HR departments, especially in smaller companies, may not be fully informed or up to date about specific labor laws that protect migrant workers. Sometimes, there's even a chance of misinformation, whether unintentional or not. As a migrant worker, you might face unique challenges and dependencies in the workplace. Understanding your rights in a foreign country can be daunting, and HR might not always provide the complete picture. This gap in information can lead to workers not fully exercising their rights, or worse, being unknowingly exploited. So what's the solution? Empower yourself with knowledge. Research your host country's labor laws, connect with local worker unions or immigrant support groups, and seek legal advice if necessary. Knowledge is your best defense. Beware about company internal works councils, though. Often they are closer than you think with management. Same problems apply as earlier reported with HR. In conclusion, understanding the dynamics of HR, works councils, and labor laws in your workplace, especially as a migrant or foreign worker, is key to navigating your career safely and effectively. Remember, information is power, and staying informed is crucial. If you've had experiences with HR in this context, feel free to share them in the comments below. My experience is based out of Europe. Your story could help someone else in a similar situation. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more insights. Stay informed, stay safe, and see you in our next video.